Hi guys, we have a guy in the house. A guy cassette decks are one of my favorite because their build quality is amazing. They are built to last, you know, and after so many years, they are con constantly uh, doing the service to their owners. It's very easy to maintain. Their mechanism is quite steady, made of complete metal. All you need to do that like every 10 years or 15 years, you change the belt and the capstan ruler and that's it their heads are also very good you know so they are lasting for the whole life mostly so this is the back side this is a akai model cs 703d it's from 1984 you see you have a line in and line out rca jacks you have a din connection also din was also popular that time so but you have to choose with this connector if you wanted to choose then you put this uh, selector there if you choose the line you put it just over there simple so this one is 220 volt model but uh, uh, I'm sure inside it can be selectable to 110 it's, uh, made by the Europe by the way so this is the back side I wanted to show the connection on the back now I will turn to the face and uh, we see how it look like and we're going to do the demo test also and the audio test to see how it sounds like so this is the front end all Akai's they look same and uh, this has the two silver and the black model this one is black as you can see this is power and the backlight of the VU uh, signal stand with a lit on this is a tape counter three digit one and you have tap selector uh, so you can you can choose uh, uh, the normal uh, CR2 chrome tape and this is the Dolby noise reduction on and on but this is the only B Dolby B uh, not C so and also this is tape selector and you have phones headphones you have microphone input left and right and these are the recording level if you use through the line or through the microphone you have to adjust the, the level you make sure that you don't overload the preamp of the of the cassette player otherwise the recording uh, will be distorted uh, always th rule of thumb is you have to use the uh, always the line because line has a specific micro volt which is uh, adjustable to between the models so it's not very uh, high in the volume it's not very low it's just uh, uh, quite a standard you you feed in and after feeding in you have to record and then you listen if it's uh, this is peaking more uh, then you have to reduce the the recording level uh, up till it's uh, it's, uh, it's uh, not peaking so much should be between zero to three otherwise the sound of recording will be distorted and also depend upon your cassette if you are using the chrome CRO2 are you using the metal cassette are you using the the normal one so this also depend because the metal and chrome cassette they are more sensitive and they can uh, they can handle uh, if a uh, signal strength reading is a little bit higher and your input is a little bit higher they can handle they can still record but normal cassette totally it will be distorted sound so we're going to do the sound test uh, well, we use the amplifier my favorite uh, jvc x30 class a amplifier basic so we we uh, wanna do here on the buttons you see stop and eject front loading system recording reverse forward and this is a play and pause uh, nothing special very easy peasy so this is uh, this is the cassette we're gonna use so we put the cassette inside and then we play sounds very nice
like the VO meters, they are more accurate than the LEDs, in my opinion. They look nice also. Forward, reverse. And start cassette from the beginning. Yeah, it requires some time till cassette rewinds. Old system, not like the streaming. You select the song and it's played. Analog system, music is recorded on the tape. Pass through the head on certain speed to create the micro volts and it's preamp and then it amplified and then feedback and terrible bass adjusted, then go to the amplifier. That's how we hear the sound old technology after the phonograph the cassette revelation came okay it's not full auto stop let me see so we play cassette from the beginning adjusting zero counter wow. look at the meter
Thanks. Thank you. Till next time.